In Sydney, Trish is bringing in Staffordshire Terrier Duke with a very itchy problem. Come on, Duke, in you come. Hi, Trish. Oh, hi, Rob, how are you? You've <laughs> come straight down there. We inherited Duke, his owner passed away, and it was a family friend, so I've known him all of his life. Duke knows Dr. Rob really well. He's been a regular patient over the years. Okay, take a seat. How's he been? He's been good, apart from his allergy or his scratching itchiness. So it's still scratching? Still scratching, itching. He's chewing his feet a lot more now. Mm. Trying yes, med sir. some medications and some medicated washes, but they've worked for a while, but as soon as we stop them, it starts up again. Very itchy all the time, irritated. He actually puts his whole foot in his mouth and chews at it. So obviously, you know, it's quite distressing for him. Let's have a look how bad the skin is and make a decision what we're going to do. Okay. When all else fails, let's examine the patient. Hey, Bubby, come on, let's have a look at you. Up you go. And you can see the skin, all that blackness that's there, all from chronic irritation. Let's have a look at your feet. Oh, wow, look how inflamed they are. That's very inflamed. No wonder you put that in your mouth, you poor bugger. So I'm trying not to upset Trish too much about this case. I'm hoping it's nothing, but I am concerned. I want to make sure there's no mites there because this poor dog is just eating himself and scratching himself. So what I'll do first is we'll do a skin scraping and check deep inside the skin. Just gentle here on the edges. And it may see a little bit of blood because we do scrape down. The mites live at that level where there are blood vessels. That's why we're down to that, where you can just see a bit of blood. Good boy. I know I'm at the right level then. Okay, we'll take that in. I'll just go and stain those. Look, I do know how much Trish does love this dog. Just adores him. And so I want to try and get to the bottom of it as best I can. Then pending on what we find, we can decide what treatment plan we'll have from there. Well, there's all the usual suspects. You know, there's some cellular debris. Uh, there's no mites or bites, there's no bugs there. So I'm relieved that that's really good news. If we can get some control of it without any chemicals and with a good diet, then I'll be very happy. Trish, yes. good news. No mites, not even a lot of bacteria. So I'm going to try him on a dietary change. I want to try a novel protein that he hasn't eaten a lot of. And the ideal one, of course, is prime 100 salmon. But salmon has omega oil to help the skin. But if he has any degree of food allergy that we've missed over the years, well, this will take care of it. Think you'll like this, buddy? I think you'll love it. Oh, <laughs> right he right into it. That. So look, there you go. Duke loves this stuff. Okay, we're not gonna have any problems with him eating it. It's got palatability, which is essential. It's got salmon, lots of salmon which has natural omega oils in it as well. It's Australian salmon, it's well sourced, it's good stuff. So, oh, wow, oh, wow, look at that guy. Short work of that. I've got great confidence that we're gonna get some benefit with his skin within just a few weeks. And this will make a big difference to his life. <laughs> no more. So look, there you go, Duke loves this stuff. Four weeks after Rob started Duke on a special diet to help with his chronic skin issues, the little dog is thriving. We have noticed some changes since Duke started his new diet. Definitely a great improvement on his overall happiness. The redness and swelling have definitely subsided and he's not itching and scratching nearly as much. So hopefully we're onto something here. 